in the Caribbean, to me, as in many societies, but particularly here, yeah, has within it, it tells a history. It's part the slave history of what mm -hmm. the slaves could eat or what they were allowed to access. It's mm -hmm. part the, the, the story of the colonizer. So whether it was an English or a Spanish or a French colonizer, those influences combined with the African and the slave traditions to create the cuisine that you have today. Uh, Are you ready, bro? Hey. Ready to go? Yeah, Where man. Going? Yo, are you guys hungry? I'm starving. Yeah. Starving. But you me. know what's the best part? What? We know eating in the hotel. What are we doing? I'm gonna take you guys to the streets of Jamaica in Kingston. Yes. Nice. Yo, we're gonna go and uh, taste the real Jamaican Whoa. food. I really wanna get in there and really taste the real thing, right? To get the real thing is a big thing. The cooking sisters today, Michelle and Suzanne, took us to the streets of Kingston, Jamaica, searching for the perfect ingredients and the perfect flavor to describe Caribbean culture. From the minute they got to the market to meet us this morning, these girls were on it. They got these vibrant personalities and they're super intelligent. So the two of that combined, we knew today was going to be a dynamic day. I got to say, we know that you have a cooking show and we can already tell how comfortable you are in front of the camera. I'm looking at you ladies, it looks so nice. Well, we hope you're ready for some spicy food. because oh, yeah. So much fun. Ready? We're ready for it. Ooh. Are you ready? You like yeah. it? Let's do it. You're ready? Take, Take us into the market, it. guys. Let's do it. What is your favorite Jamaican food that you love cooking? Oh well, I love aki. One. I love aki. Aki. The aki itself is a fruit. It goes on a tree. Oh. It's our national dish. We can show it to them. Oh, yeah. Have some over yes. here. Right. And, and it has um, a bad rap, you know, because it, if you're not cooked properly, it can be poisonous. Oh my exactly. gosh. So, but we won't poison you. We know yeah. how to do it. Yeah, we know how to do it. Is this the papaya or yes. is it papaya? Okay. Papaya or what we call <laughs> pawpaw. Paw. This is what we call June plum. In Trinidad, so they call it pomsite. We love this. Yeah. What I love about all of this fruit and vegetables, ladies, is yeah. a lot. A lot of this I never see in Canada. Cool. I don't know about you, Rodrigo. Of course not. But this is all Definitely new. This is new we to us. Don't see this in yeah. Canada. We all said these ladies have personalities unlike anybody we've ever met. They initially made us so comfortable, they had us laughing so much. They're these self-made women. They basically went out there and wrote this cookbook and then was able to sell it. And now they have their own cooking show. They were so genuine to us. You know, we've been traveling for a long time and experienced different cultures. And just to know that they do the same thing by using food, we kind of relate to them in a way. Look at this. It's so You're beautiful. So glad you like it. This is Welcome. the most yeah. stunning kitchen I've it ever is. seen. Yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. So you like the breadfruit, so I figured you could, we could get Perfect. you to try to peel this yeah. and, and get it ready yeah, for Yeah, I eating. might need a little instruction about <laughs> yeah. how to do that. No, you yeah. figure that out. You can do it on your own. Uh, oh. the <laughs> I then, do. Then you can do the fish. Okay. Yeah, the we're going to do an ackee and salt fish for you. So, Got it. Um, that's, the, that's the bacalao or the cod. Yeah. I'm from the island of Newfoundland, uh -huh. uh, which you know in Canada. Uh -huh. We used to exchange our salt cod mm -hmm. for your rum. That's and right. in Newfoundland, we call it screech. You've oh. heard of this? Oh, oh, screech. Yeah, yeah. So awesome. we thank you for the screech, ladies. Oh. <laughs> okay, so how do I start okay, so this? You can cut the two sides off, and then you can just kind of cut down on, along, this, uh, along the skin. Okay, and perfect. Remove the skin. All right, okay? I'll start doing that. So you roasted it. Yeah, well, we both to prepare roasted. it. Yes. It's oh, Roy, wow. red is fruit, man. Is this, is this your favorite way to eat it? I like it fried I, and roasted. I love it just hot off of the fire and peeled with just some butter and salt on the end. It's piping oh, hot. It sounds so That's good. That's how I love Smell it. That? Basically, just to pick up, the, this is a picked up salt fish. And so it's boiled first. So you just basically can take off the skin with the knife and clean it off. All right. Get rid of all of that stuff. And then just start to pick it up, so I'll leave And you just drop it on the ball. Mm. Troy, count to ten. I'm gonna do it in ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! <laughs> Bum, your turn. Nice. Wait, yeah. Before we do, Troy, how prepare you do? the ackee first. So who's gonna, who wants to take that on? Oh. Wow. <laughs> so you say if it's not cooked properly, it can be poisonous. So right. what's the proper way to cook okay. this? You open out, out the pot like this. Oh, And nice. it wow. reveals then, then you pick oh, out these so three. Crazy. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You have to take out this seed. Right. And, and we'll remove show it to you later. this remove inner this. string. This is a oh, poisonous. So I mean, this is why you, you don't eat the seed. No, 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 no. 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 Oh, After going to the market today, I realized that there's so many dishes that you can make, and there's so many vegetables and fruits, and 
like from what you guys have told me, mm -hmm. everyone is so creative in their cooking. Like you use every all of these things. We're yeah. using materials yeah. that are unique and authentic to Jamaica. And yeah. Yes. 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 Right? Right? So what we would always do is we would season up half. with um, a mixture of tomatoes, garlic, onion. Yeah, these are green pepper. Can I or saute it up pepper. there? Uh, we'll oh, oh, watch out, watch out. Yes, chef. So in, while that is cooking, what I'm doing over here is the callaloo. So the callaloo bush was this. Remember we picked up this green, the yeah. Korean green? So this is it prepped and cleaned and chopped up in uh, sort that of... That looks so much what like you would kale. Call it. A little bit more like sort kale. Of, but you have so to cook this it. is actually, um, in Trinidad, Calo would be dashin leaves. These are amaranth mm -hmm. leaves. And so what you would do is you, you clean it, you trim it, and then you like dice it up, it. and then chop it up, and then you saute it with some you know up onions, peppers, etc., and, and steam we're it. And so good. We're cooking some for you for breakfast. Yay. Ladies, what's your inspiration for cooking? I think we've tried... I think what we tried to do with, with our style of cuisine is to... Combine traditional, very authentic Jamaican flavors and the ingredients we use here with a more modern style of preparation and a more sophisticated one. And I think outside of Jamaica, what you find too is that people don't know the ingredients. They don't know how to work with it. So they think it's really complex. They think it's really difficult to roast a bread yeah, food but or that it's really hard to do ackee, <laughs> but it isn't. And so if you are a foodie and you like food and you like culture and you like to explore flavors, you know, the Caribbean offers a lot of really amazing produce. And look at the planting. Look at the planting. Ooh, so the that smokes. Well. Is that how you eat them? In Mexico? That's how we eat them in Mexico, actually. You fry them as well we like fry them as well like mm -hmm. that. You know what's really great to do with the planting that we do in the book? We cook, they put it in the oven with rum and brown sugar and butter, oh and you do like God. a roasted Ooh. plant, and you, it makes like a oh. syrup. Is it thrown like a caramel? And then you leave it caramelized. Because they're, and they're, they're gets, brown. And you leave the plant in whole. Now that is another way that we oh my it. God. So this would be, this is a vegetarian version of ackee. So it's the ackee cooked with tomato, bell pepper, thyme, scallion, garlic, scotch bonnet. Without any salt fish. <coughs> I put quite a bit of pepper in here, so it can be spicy. And I tried it, it is. Bio. You gotta be spicy, you gotta be spicy. Yeah, like, like you need to spice, spice it up, baby. If you're not spicy, you have you to. Need a, who wants to be vanilla? For <laughs> what? Oh. what is vanilla? <laughs> we gonna eat Jamaican food. Yeah, mom. Yeah. <laughs> We all right. don't know how to say. We took all the food and we went into her parents' dining room. And on travels, usually you don't have the opportunity to come into someone else's home and see how they're living and see the way that they eat and what their dining room looks like and the type of you know dishware and, and napkins that they're using. And it was all so colorful and it was absolutely beautiful. When I thought of Jamaican cooking, I thought of jerk chicken. And now I know that it's so much more creative than that. Like there's all these different types of, of dishes that you can make with all the stuff that is here in Jamaica. I feel like Emily have found that being a vegetarian won't limit her selection of food when she travels anymore. She was very surprised about Suzanne and Michelle how much they know about food and they have a answer for everything. When you travel and you go around to all these new places, what are you always looking for? Like what's the essence of, of what are you trying to People find? People like you. Honestly, I hope to be able to do something like this again with these ladies. As they continue to travel the world and film and do their book signing, I really genuinely hope to run into them somewhere along the traveler's path.